That's neat. Um, let me ask some specific questions for, for each of you. Like Danielle, as a, as a vocalist, how do you learn to commit to a song, to the lyrics of a song? Well, I've, I've always chosen my songs pretty pretty carefully mm -hmm. because I mean if you you listen to my you know, the, the, my originals it's I'm a very I'm very personal I'm very you know I I'm very intimate with with the crowd I, I you know I write about what's right. going on in my life what my perspectives are mm -hmm. you know if I can't directly relate to it but I you know but I know somebody that's gone through it or I can imagine how it feels to you be that way right. you know. I'm very, I, I have a lot of intent when it comes mm -hmm. to the songs that I choose, it's not, it's not always, I mean, sometimes it's just like, oh, we'll, we'll learn this one for, for this gig, you know, just to play once and yeah. then never do it again, you yeah, know, yeah. we'll do songs to just have fun, but, for, but primarily I just, I know I'm just getting you with, with this. My necklace. The light? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. No, yeah, I don't see it, but you might. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. bothering me. I'm sorry. Um, no, but it's. Uh, I, I like I said. I just I choose them. I choose them very carefully, mm -hmm. and I make sure that I can relate to them and, and understand them. Yeah. Because he, I'm, I, I'm not a fake. I'm not a fake person. Yeah. You, you, know? you can't fake the blues. Were you an know? actress or in theater at all as a child? No, I couldn't keep a straight face. <laughs> I was so awkward. I get so awkward in front of cameras and stuff. Like, yeah. I just no. I but I. I took dance for a long time, okay. and I, you know, I took it competitively, and I was very serious about it. I majored it in high school, mm -hmm. and uh, just decided that music was the way to go. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm glad it was. That was a, that was a hard decision to make, but yeah. it was it was it was the most. I mean, it, it was what I was supposed to do. Right. So. Now, Chris said he, you know, watching Tony play the drums, you pick up these little tips. What is a vocalist? What what do you pick up when you're watching a Jennifer Magnus or a Shamika Copeland or, or any other vo woman vocalist out there or male? How do you, what do you glean from that? Just um, inflections and uh -huh. tones and different ways to pull, you know, um, you can do so much to a note just by bending it or, or putting a little more emphasis on it and just real just dynamics. Mm -hmm. I really, I really watch people's dynamics. Okay. Because I, you know, there's something, you know, they, there's, there's, the known runs, like there's the Edda runs, and yeah. there's the Aretha runs, and there's the Shamika runs, right. and the Tedeschi runs, right, and the right. Bonnie, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. They, they each have their own distinct styles, and so it's hard to, I mean, and they can't be emulated at all, they, you know, yeah. or I, I'm sorry, they can't be um, double. I, I, yeah, imitate. You know, yeah. imitate, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it, it's really hard because it, it's like, you don't want to be like, oh, you're just, because it's, right. it's really hard to be told you're just ripping somebody off, yeah. or you just sound like this person, because yeah. I'm trying to be me, That's right. you know, That's right. I'm, I have appreciate if I remind you of right. this person, but that doesn't yeah. mean that I'm trying to be like this, you yeah. know, or sing like this person. You're so right. it's you have to really pick and choose carefully what you what you take from it and what you use yeah. as well. Because yeah. I'll take it all in, but yeah. you know, I don't know, that's what that's how Bonnie's I know, like, I but know. it's I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that one out myself. Yeah. 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 And I know probably, you know, Chris, you're up there watching every do you watch guitar players, other guitarists and, and sort of go back to the car and sit there and try something out? Or? Oh, absolutely! Yeah. yeah, definitely. I listen listen to a lot of players, and I'll sit at home and you know and try to copy them, and yeah. just try to pick up new licks, Oops. just 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 like that, you know. Yeah. You know, I find, I like to play songs that move me, mm -hmm. that or that I think are cool, mm -hmm. or that I think or I think there's something neat about it, or a song that I want to share with the audience that right. we play for. Right. How you know, how does this band? And I'll throw this question to you. How do you guys walk that line of traditional blues and being contemporary? You know, trying to trying to stay contemporary, but also honor the traditions. Like Danielle said, it's like it's, it's a song by song choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's I always try to find songs like covers that people don't do. Yeah. And try to and that 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 people s that not necessarily stay away from, but you know, for example, I just recently started doing a song um, off of Electric Mud. Okay. Which is not a very <laughs> no. not a very gr great you know right. well known blues That's record. That's right. But it's a cool song. It's called Herbert Harper's Free Press Blues. Okay. And it's a neat song, especially with our current... Uh, we're not really political. We right. don't really get too much of politics. But this particular song kind of hits on some politics. So with, you know, things going on in the world today in the last, you know, four to six months or so, right. it's just kind of... I felt pulled into this song. Yeah. And I thought it was really neat. It's got a really cool chorus to it. It's mm -hmm. it, And it just kind of sticks out, you know? Yeah. So, that's kind of a way of being contemporary and you know and traditional at the same time, right, and it's right. actually like a folk song too. Which oh, that's cool. Is, yeah. It's a bizarre tune. Yeah, yeah. It's a, but I'll have to go so back we find this one. Yeah, now. you'll yeah. find it. It's neat. Yeah. It's on YouTube. I find a lot of stuff on YouTube yeah. just because 
you know, honestly, it's a, you know, there's, it's a great way to get access to lots of different That's styles. Right. That's right. Um, another guy, I just, I picked, I've always been a Tom Waits fan. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, you can't do a lot of Tom Waits stuff. Right. You know, I mean, but he, he has different voices that he, he uses different styles. He's got this bar, you know, smoky barroom piano yep. thing he does. He's got these, like, Sounds like he's playing, you know, bone like bones in a boneyard, junkyard thing. He's got all these different flavors of him, but he's got this blues side. It's yeah. like this swampy guy, right? That he, yeah. You know, this this old swampy guy. He, he, the character that he puts on. So, so he's got a couple tunes like that that I like to do too. Nice. So I find things like that, that blues listeners that come to see us, people they don't listen to. Yeah. Fine tunes, but fine tunes that you can hear our style through. Through that, sure. Exactly. Sure. And and your style is probably very. Um, agreeable, I would say, to younger audiences, too, the energy and the passion in it. Sure, So that sure. people aren't going to come away going, oh, that's just old blues. It's it's very energetic. But I also, I also keep it very, I, I also keep my playing uh, pretty uh, t topical as well with the people that I'm interested in at the moment. Yeah. Like, yeah. When, like, we, like, we were, when Tony was producing our record, we were, you know, going to see him with Robert yeah. as much as, you know, whenever he'd come through town. So I got to see Robert play a lot. And right. We're on the road so much, we don't get to see it. We, get, we see bands and yeah. we see players, but to actually sit through a whole concert right. and see somebody. See the way a show is built. Yeah. So, yeah. so then I started, like, pulling out all these, you know, Robert Cray, <laughs> trying to, you know, trying to emulate some of his stuff. So. Yeah. I, nice. know, I keep I keep that conduit open right. as much as possible. Nice. And Chris, you're the businessman of the group, right? <laughs> Trying to be. So anyway. Sully tells me. <laughs> I know. Um, what can you explain to, to the people watching? Like, what does a young band have to do marketing wise and business wise today that they really need to have ha a handle on to succeed? Well, first thing, you know, it it just. I didn't really like. We never elected, you know, me as right. a business I, guy. Yeah. But you know, I, I mentioned earlier I was went to school for automotive mechanics, and it was an associate's degree of applied science. So I had to take some business classes mm -hmm. to to uh, to get through the program. And at the time, it was absolutely grueling. But you know, as this started to make more sense, and we started actually touring around and yeah. you know m making more money, it it became evident that we're going to have to start keeping track of all this right. stuff. And, First thing I would say is just keep track of everything that you're doing, yeah. first off, because if anything ever happened, you know, with the IRS in particular, they're going to want to know. Yep, yep. Um, secondly, uh, you know, talking to Jack Sullivan, you know, the marketing aspect is, is amazing. You know, you think about what large companies do, and really, the, the substance of the product isn't even really, like, the focus of... The, mm -hmm. the marketing campaigns, you know, you just, yeah. you have to be, you, you have to be smart about how you brand your product right. and, and, you know, what you associate your product with. And one, one tip, you got to give away free stuff. Yeah. People love free stuff. <laughs> if you give away free stuff, they will buy stuff. From that's you. right. And that's an interesting concept, but that's the way it is. <laughs> if you look at any commercial now, the yeah. first thing you're going to do is give you something for free so that's you go right. there and buy it. So that's right. Cool. That's cool. And how about social media? How important is that in, a, in today's marketing? Oh, you know, it's amazing. I, I, I was talking about this about six months ago to uh, my girlfriend, Samantha Fish. Yeah. She came up about four years ago, three or four years ago. And uh, to see how quickly she's accelerated versus how quickly it took or how long it took us, mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing because she's hit Facebook hard since the beginning, you know, right. Facebook and, and right. websites and stuff. We didn't even have like a serious website with a store for like, you know, until about halfway in, right. you know, from where we are now. Yeah. So uh, it's been amazing to see her grow and then like her, you know, her likes or whatever, her friends and, you know, the, the communication she has yeah. on, on the internet. It's, it's amazing. If you push it, it's, it's, yeah. it yeah. will help you. <coughs> yeah. I, we just saw Jennifer down at Tampa Bay and I said, Every day I go online and there's a Jennifer Magnus. Hi, I'm playing tonight at such and such. Come out and see me. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, had a great time last night at such and such. Make sure you see, cut, stop. And I'm going, and she said, yeah, you have to do that. You know, I'm saying, yeah. that, that, does it work? And she said, yes, it does. Well, especially yes, in a does. world of, like, everything's so immediate and there's so many distractions. That's you know, right. you got to kind of stay in people's faces. Though. That's right. That's right. It's easy and it's free. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and the, the young younger generation certainly is all tied in. They're all connected with that. Right, too. right. And, uh, yeah. Um, so now after, what, 08, you won the, the award. Um, what are you guys working at mastering today? Each of you, what? Just you know, I study with a guy in, in Kansas City with drums, and you know, just performing and you know, perfecting what you do, and mm -hmm. and getting getting closer to your the way that you see you know your the way you see your instrument, you right. know, just connecting with that, and that's mm -hmm. for for musicians, it's, it's a, that's a lifelong path. Yeah, you know? there's yeah. always there's always somebody that's going to be better. There's always somebody that does it differently. There's always somebody that you're going to see that's going to you know turn you on in that aspect. So right, just right. you know, keep 
keep reaching. That's yeah. what my teacher always says. He said, I'm not doing anything, just keeping you reaching. Just keep reaching, <laughs> yeah. And what are you working at mastering? Well, so songwriting mm -hmm. and, and, and be being a better singer and, mm -hmm. and a better guitar player, really. Yeah. Kind of the same, same, same trail, really. Yeah, yeah. And Danielle? Um, yeah, I'm just just working on just working on uh, progressing, you know, mm -hmm. just growing as a person, as a mom, and yeah. and as a musician, just all around. Yeah, you know? yeah. Ha, 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 would you has Trample Underfoot found its sound yet, or are you still sort of? I think through our last few, I think through our, through our last few records that we've done with Tony, I think it's kind of it's honed in on a it's few different, it in, it's yeah. honed in a few different sounds. You know, yeah. I always I always kind of say that you know one of our you know our sound you can hear it. We play so many different styles of blues. Right. We don't really you know stick with one style. Yeah. So, but you know through all the different styles you can kind of hear, you know, a constant. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Is it a sound you're comfortable with? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, you it's feel like it's awesome. Awesome. Schnebelinize it, as she says. Well, you can schnebelinize it. Just schnebelinize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> No, I mean, it's just, my my inspirations are always are ever changing, you know. Yeah. And uh, you know, wrong side of the blues sounded nothing like May I Be Excused. Right. Badlands sounds nothing like wrong side of the blues. Yeah. But that constant is that it sounds like trampled underfoot. That's good. And That's you also good. have to remember too that our parents did this, and yeah. I always kind of thought that really we didn't really start a band, but we kind of took over our family business. And nice? you know, when, yeah. when we were first playing gigs in Kansas City. Half our set was songs they did, they did. you know. And we yeah. kind of took that, and mom, mom would get up to sit in with us, and she's like, "Let's do this one." And Neil said, "We already did that." One. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, Let's do this one. She goes, "We already did that one." And I was like, "Well, what do you want me to do?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will say it is a it is a great treat for me, and I'm sure for the fans to be at one of your shows where your mom is there, and yeah. she's got a beautiful voice, and, and uh, you know you can just see the family love up there. Um, advantages to being a family band, family business. You know, I'm the safest person in the club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's great. I, I, the thing that really gets me about the business side of it, that really gets me going about the business side of it, is that anything I do to help this helps my family. That's you know, right. trying to lift my family up and provide a, a good future for my family. That's that's what that's, that's pretty what cool. really why I'm here. So. That's pretty cool. Great. Well, thank you very much, guys. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking with the Kansas City-based band Trampled Underfoot, and we hope you enjoy their show tonight.